I'm Emily. I'm from Vernon, a small town just outside of Ottawa, Ontario. It's this tiny redneck town surrounded by a bunch of other tiny redneck towns. And most of my adult life I've been ashamed to be from Vernon. But then I also feel bad that I feel bad about being from Vernon, so... It's something that I've been really feeling like I need to figure out. The last time I went to Vernon, I met this guy, Roy Porches. He's kind of like the town historian. He talks about Vernon with so much enthusiasm and tells all these stories. It's like I'm seeing a whole different town. If I can see it like he sees it, maybe I won't feel so guilty. That's a eight millimeter movie of one of the store openings. I have two different times, eh? Wow. So I don't know whether you can shoot that off the screen or not. Uh, W.J. Porch and Sons changed names many times. It was Porch's IGA, Porch's M&M, Porch's Food Liner was the last emblem we had. Then we uh, sold the store, ran from 1900 to 1989. You have to be willing to accept change. Uh, there's no use resisting it. Uh, I figure I've changed all along, and the only way you keep current is if you go with change, hey? It's crazy to me that Roy and I share so much in our backgrounds, but the people we are today are so different. <laughs> That's us giving our old van a wash, Toyota Previa. <laughs> the dorky one. Yeah, it's my gem scarf. It stands for Girls Everywhere Meeting the Savior. It was like Christian Girl, Girl Guides. I got the most badges out of anyone in our group. Oh my goodness, the Lions Club is a service club. It was a Medcalf and District Lions Club, and we went to Medcalf 55 years, perfect attendance. You wanna hold that? Sure. So none of you ever played a saxophone, trumpet. Somebody said a French horn? I play French horn, yeah. The last thing I find is this Bible that I was dedicated with, and there's a verse inscribed in the front. Psalm 27, 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Well, I didn't remember it, so it must not have stuck with me, but it sounds familiar. I don't think that I knew fear as a child. Vernon felt like a safe place to be. But as I got older and realized I was queer, I learned to hide the things that wouldn't be welcome in the places I'm from. I'm growing into someone who I'm proud to be, but I know I still carry these fears with me, especially on this trip back. Just go. I never really wanted to be a farmer. No, not, a, not the lifestyle for you. No, it just wasn't my thing. Anybody that grew up on a farm, it was their thing, but yeah. not mine. Yeah, 
I get that. Your store, you had farmers coming in. You told me oh, they would sell their yes. eggs. They, yeah, yeah. Uh, we had an egg grain station and uh, we had grocery stores that we packed them in the one dozen cartons. And we had our own trade name, Verndale. 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 That was pretty original. Eh? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> These are desks that were in the school or the library. And this is what I used to sit, sit at. This is an ink well. And there's a place underneath here to keep your books. I've been trying to catch Roy's enthusiasm for the town. I'm going back to all these places that meant so much to me as a kid, but it's just not there. It seems like the only meaningful connection I still have to Vernon is Roy. Maybe he can help me face some of these fears. Tomorrow we're going to church with Ryan Kay and Vernon. I'm nervous. I haven't attended a church service in a really long time. I know that I know that um, there are core aspects of my lifestyle and just like just core aspects of me, of who I am that are in direct contradiction with the most common values of Christianity, so it's always a bit terrifying to walk into a situation where you know that if people actually knew you, you would not be welcome. It's like a, it's like, in a weird, in a weird way, it's like a blessing for me to have not known myself for the first 16 years of my life. Oh, are there any Bibles in this row? Yeah. There it is. So you come here every Sunday or just some Sundays? Every Sunday. Unless we're away, as a rule. So how long have you been coming to this church specifically? Uh, probably, well, my age, <laughs> 80, 80 some years likely. I came as a kid eh? right. with my father and mother. and I've been here all my life uh, and uh, it's sort of home. I guess I'm just, I think part of the reason I'm uncomfortable with the town of Vernon is because I feel like, um, well, it was like a good place for my childhood like who I am today, um, might not be welcome here. Oh, I, I, would, I would argue with that, yeah. that you would be quite welcome. I mean, times have changed. Uh, you have to, I mean, if you're with the times at all, you have to have an open mind. And our own family uh, is not the routine families anymore either. So we've had our share of things to adjust to, and I think we've adjusted them very well, eh? And family is family. There's a part of me that I think thinks of you like family, <laughs> and I'm Glad to hear that you would welcome me. It means a lot. Good.
I just wanted to um, cover, like, so you went to Toronto. Um, when did you go to Toronto? Oh, my goodness. But, like, were you out? I mean, like, out not the date, school. but, like, out of high, right out of high school? Yeah. But anyway, it didn't work out. Father took a heart attack, and I was just so glad to get out of Toronto. <laughs> a little kid from downtown Vernon, I just found that all the guys I went to school with were so much smarter than I was, I felt so stupid, eh? Because I didn't know the city life, eh? Downtown Vernon, you've had a tour, it's a little different than downtown Toronto. <laughs> Anyway, I came home, father had the heart attack, and I never went back, eh? and I never looked back. <laughs>